Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. So, I'm using a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I'm going to do a dark background and I'm going to just use paint and water. I'm going to list all the information including my brands of paint, the colours and all my ratios and lots more information in the description box below. So expand that and check that out. But I'm really happy you're here. I really want to have some fun and what I want to do is on that dark canvas I almost want to puddle the rainbow colours around the edge to create a window effect. So let's see if it works and let's see what we can create. So I've got all the colours of the rainbow here. So my red, my orange, my yellow, my green, my blue, my indigo and my violet. I nearly broke out in song there, did you notice? <laughs> I've got my lamp black for the base colour. My torch is there ready to pop any of the air bubbles. As you can see, this is a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas. I have painted the sides of the canvas just to get good coverage. But what I want to do with this one is I want to cover the canvas all in the black paint. But I want to puddle the paints all the way around the edge and then blow it out just so it kind of gives a window effect. I'm really excited to see what we can create. I'm going for a lamp black base. And all of my colours are just mixed with water. And as always, to try and get a good consistent coverage and layer of paint on my canvas, I start from the middle and I blow out to the outer edge. That's how I can ensure I have a good layer of paint on my canvas. I'm just using the torch to pop the air bubbles and then I'm going to layer the paint one colour at a time around the edge of the canvas. I've just noticed I've got these colours around the wrong way. <laughs> it should have been the other way around, but it's fine. I'm using all the rainbow colours. So as long as I've got each one there. And then I'm just adding a little bit more of the black base colour. So it gives me more paint to blow over those colours. I want a really subtle hint of those rainbow colours on the canvas to look like a window looking out into space. So I'm taking my blow dryer and I'm on a cool setting, lowest blow speed. And I'm literally just going from the center of the canvas to the outer edge. Okay, so now I want to blow the paint back in on itself just to get some whispery effects of the paint going back into the center. But I can tell I already have too much definition and paint here. There's an idea in my mind that I really want to try and get onto the canvas. Other times this might be okay, this, this kind of design, this balance, this combination, but there's something really specific that I've got in my mind. So I think I'm going to add some more black in the middle and then I'm just going to circle some of the colours around the black. And as I blow that black back out from the centre to the edge, I should get more of a subtle hint.
yes, that's exactly what I have in my mind. I know it looks really dark. I'll show you a close-up. I promise those colours are going to be there and they will pop through. But I really wanted more of a dark middle with the rainbow colours around the outer edge. Just a hint of those colours. Very subtle. And I'm pleased that this is now working. Well, it was working before and I was actually happy with the design. But you know when you've got something specific in your mind and you just want to try and get that kind of vision onto your canvas, I wasn't going to give up on this one. So I'm really happy that I've tried to get that window effect. So looking out into the dark space, the dark sky, with the rainbow colours very subtly around the edge. I'm going to take you in now so you can see what I can see. And you can see those colours there shining and shimmering through. And those dots of colour as it goes from the block colour into the centre gives it even more of that space vibe. But you know what? I've got an idea that I'd like to try out and I'm going to take this one step further. Can you guess what I'm going to do? So, of course, I'm going to embellish this. I'm going to do a mandala in the middle. So I'm mixing my colours with some gel medium. And then what I'll do is I'll use a stencil and I will spread these colours over the stencil. I've taped my stencil to the canvas and I'm just going to add one colour at a time and paste that gel over the stencil with my palette knife. So one colour at a time and just slowly covering that full stencil. I can't wait for you to see the final version. If you're enjoying this video, as always, I ask that you give it a like, a share or a thumbs up. It would be great to get your feedback too. So if you've got anything to say, any feedback, drop me a comment below. I love to read all of them. So when I remove my stencil, I do it slowly and I literally take it from one side and then pull it towards me to the other side. That's going to hopefully give a very clean break between the paint and the canvas. There we go. I'm so, so happy with that. I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to show you the final version. But I really feel like by adding that mandala in the middle has almost illuminated the outer edges. And I'm so happy with this. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll now show you the dried version and I'll go in so you can see some more of that detail. But for now, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a great week and you have a great week ahead. Take care of yourselves and I hope I get to see you again in the next video. And I hope you're enjoying this rainbow series. See you soon, everyone. Take care. Bye.